There are actions and mindsets that unknowingly lower our vibration. These small, seemingly insignificant behaviors gradually drain our energy, making us less vibrant and less capable of attracting what we truly desire. This unnoticed influence is like a subtle tone silently pulling at the strength and clarity of our energy by bringing these habits to light. We pave the way for transformative understanding our personnel. Vibration, a unique energetic signature, is shaped and reshaped by our daily experiences, thoughts, and actions. This vibrational state, when nurtured, aligns us with frequencies of joy, love, and peace. However, often without our awareness, certain habits and patterns in our daily life act as weights that lower this vibrational energy, these habits suddenly woven into the fabric of our routines and mental processes quietly diminish our inner harmony, preventing us from reaching higher vibrational states. Recognizing these patterns is the first step to elevating our vibration, offering us the necessary insight to foster and maintain a vibrational state that resonates with our deepest aspirations' negative self. Criticism, often a subtle and sneaky habit, can significantly lower our vibration without us even realizing it this habit goes Beyond mere words, it reflects negativity about our being especially in challenging times like in addiction recovery, negative self-criticism can be a constant companion bringing feelings of guilt and shame. Most people do not actively listen to the narrative unfolding in their minds. Instead, they accept and believe these harmful thoughts. However, thinking negatively about oneself does not foster growth or Improvement on the contrary, it imposes limits preventing us from reaching our true potential. The power of our words and thoughts is immense, playing a crucial role go in shaping our reality. When we indulge in negative self-criticism, we reinforce negative beliefs and perceptions about ourselves. So, what can we do about it? Awareness is the first step. By paying attention to our inner dialogue, we can begin to notice. When we are not being kind to ourselves in these moments instead of succumbing to judgment, the goal is to replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations, for example. If you catch yourself thinking, I can't do anything right, recognize that this thought is neither helpful nor entirely accurate. It's essential to remember and acknowledge the moments when you have succeeded instead of amplifying instances of perceived failure replacing a negative thought with a positive one like, I can do things correctly. I'm doing my best every day can profoundly change your energy. This practice is about reprogramming our subconscious mind. Our subconscious is in creed in the powerful and plays a significant role in forming our beliefs and perceptions through constant observation, changing our negative self-criticism to positive affirmations. We begin to rewire our neural pathways. This transformation doesn't happen overnight. It requires patience and persistence. Each time we replace a negative thought with a positive one, we take a step towards a higher vibration. This practice helps us cultivate a more positive outlook on life, reinforcing the belief that we are capable and worthy. A quote from Buddha beautifully encapsulates this idea what we think we become by choosing to replace negative self-criticism with positive affirmations. We embark on a remarkable transformation this mindset shift is a profound change that reconfigures our neural pathways and subconscious beliefs over time as this practice becomes habitual it raises our vibration aligning us more closely with the positive experiences and outcomes we aspire to attract toxic friendships often not perceived in their gradual onset can deeply impact our vibrational energy these relationships marked by negative conversations exclusion and a lack of genuine support significantly lower our vibrational state. Such interactions leave us immersed in feelings of anxiety, stress, and negativity, which resonate in our lives, affecting our ability to connect with positivity in personal growth. Study underscores the importance of healthy relationships as a key indicator of a happy and fulfilled life. This research highlights that the quality of our connections with friends, family, and partners is crucial for our overall well-being in contrast toxic relationships do more than just cause discomfort they actively disturb our emotional equilibrium and lower our vibrational frequency the impact of these negative interactions is emotional and also physiological as they can lead to increased stress and its associated health problems to realign our energy and restore our vibrational harmony the first step is to recognize that friendship should be sources of empowerment not distress true friends are those who Encourage us celebrate our authenticity and stand by us through the highs and lows of life. Recognizing the signs of a toxic friendship is essential. It's about noticing those relationships that leave us exhausted instead of uplifted. Establishing clear boundaries is a crucial part of this process involving 
honest self-reflection and making tough decisions about who to keep in our lives letting go of toxic relationships though. Challenging is necessary for our vibrational well-being. This act of self-care creates space for more positive and enriching relationships to enter our lives welcoming new positive connections. Is transformative these connections based on mutual respect and unconditional acceptance naturally raise. Our vibration they provide a supportive environment where we can thrive and grow both emotionally and spiritually such relationships are essential for maintaining a high vibrational state while toxic. Friendships can significantly lower our vibration. Taking proactive steps to address and rectify these relationships can lead to a profound shift in our energy. By cultivating positive real relationships, we pave the way for a higher vibration, greater emotional well-being, and a generally more fulfilling life. The process of recognizing toxic patterns and embracing positive connections is a transformative process that enhances every aspect of our being complaining a habit, often indulged without much reflection, can significantly affect our vibrational energy. By complaining, we are essentially focusing on lack and negativity, which resonate at lower frequency. This focus not only lowers our own vibration, but also attracts more of the same energy, creating a cycle of negativity. Consider, for example, complaining about Waking up early for work, it's a common complaint, but by dwelling on this negativity, we fail to recognize the many positive aspects of our situation. Instead of focusing on the inconvenience, we can shift our perspective to appreciate having a job, enjoying the company of co-workers and the sense of purpose and security our work provides by reframing our view from complaint to gratitude, we transform our energy from one of lack to one of abundance. It's important to realize that the energy of complaint creates a toxic aura that can spread to those around us. Have you ever noticed how being near someone who constantly complains makes you feel drained or even incites you to start complaining as well? This is because complaining much like a contagious energy can influence the mood and vibration of others too. Combat this awareness is key. Recognizing when we are complaining allows us to consciously shift our focus, acknowledge the complaint, but then actively seek the positive aspects of the situation. This isn't about denying our feelings, but balancing them with an appreciation of the good that we often overlook. Additionally, it's beneficial to limit our time with habitual complainers, their constant focus on negativity can inadvertently lower our vibration and influence our mood instead seek out those who radiate positivity as their energy can help to lift ours the transition from a complaining mindset to one of gratitude impacts our broader environment by choosing to focus on the positive we contribute to a more positive collective energy this shift is a powerful tool for attracting more of what we want in life and less of what we don't neglecting the physical as aspect of our being particularly through a lack of physical activity can have profound effects on our vibrational energy. Our bodies are designed for movement, and when we adopt a sedentary lifestyle, it affects our physical health and also our energetic state. A lack of physical activity can result in diminished energy levels, which in turn lowers our vibrational frequency. Your body is like an energy reservoir when we move. We stir up that energy, revitalizing our entire being. Physical activity, whether a brisk walk, a yoga session, or a dance class acts as a catalyst igniting our internal energy and raising our vibration. It's not just about staying in shape, it's about keeping our energy vibrant and flowing. However, in our modern lifestyle, we're sitting for extended periods has become the norm. We often find ourselves in a state of stagnation. This inertia affects not only our muscles and joints, it seeps into our energetic well-being. A sedentary lifestyle can lead to feelings of lethargy and a lack of motivation indicative of a lower vibrational state. Caring for our physical body is a form of respect for the vehicle that carries us through life by honoring our body with movement and care we elevate our vibrational frequency. This holistic approach to health is a key component in maintaining a high vibration and attracting the positive experiences we desire the media and music we consume play a significant role in shaping our thoughts, emotions, and ultimately our vibration. Energy constant exposure to negative media, such as distressing news or entertainment filled with pessimistic themes can subtly influence our mindset, steering us towards a lower vibrational state when we immerse ourselves in new cycles that focus predominantly on violence, tragedy, and conflict. This can instill a sense of anxiety, fear, and hopelessness. These emotions resonate at lower frequencies and can gradually internalize coloring our perception of the world and our place in it. Similarly, the music we listen 
To have a profound effect on our vibration music is a powerful medium that can evoke strong emotions and memories when we repeatedly listen to songs with negative or destructive lyrics that can plant seeds of negative V in our minds, influencing our thoughts and beliefs often without our awareness. The vibrations of this music can align with lower frequencies subtly lowering our own vibrational energy on the other hand, choosing media and music that uplift, inspire, and evoke positive emotions can have the opposite effect media that focuses on positive story solutions and inspiring content can uplift our spirit and raise our vibration. Likewise, music with uplifting lyrics, harmonia, melodies, and positive themes can resonate with higher vibrational frequencies, improving our mood and overall energetic state to protect and elevate our vibration. It's important to be mindful of the media and music we consume. This doesn't mean completely isolating ourselves from reality or avoiding all negative information. It's about finding a balance and being conscious of how much negative content we are exposing ourselves to striving for a healthy, immediate diet. Much like a nutritious food diet involves choosing sources that nourish our minds and souls by selectively engaging with media and music that align with positivity, inspiration, and joy, we can maintain a higher vibrational frequency which in turn attracts more positivity into our lives. This conscious choice is a powerful step towards nurturing our mental and emotional well-being and promoting a more harmonious and vibrant life living authentically is a key aspect of maintaining a high vibrational energy when we deviate from our true self-conforming to societal expectations or the desires of others we disrupt our internal alignment this misalignment can significantly lower our vibration as it fosters feelings of shame guilt and fear of scrutiny instead of promoting higher vibrational emotions like joy and self-acceptance consider common scenarios where People feel pressure to follow paths not in harmony with their true desires, whether attending college out of obligation, remaining in unfulfilling jobs, or altering their personalities to fit in. While these actions may seem harmless, they can lead to internal conflict as they clash with our authentic self-living authentically involves deep introspection about who we truly are, our passions, beliefs, values, and aspirations. It's about understanding and embracing our unique qualities and making life choices that res resonate with our true nature. This alignment also raises our vibrational energy. When seeking authenticity, start by asking yourself some fundamental questions like who am I at my core and what genuinely brings me joy and fulfillment. These questions guide us to a deeper understanding of ourselves encouraging us to make decisions aligned with our inner truth embracing your authentic self can indeed seem challenging it requires courage to break the mold and stand firm in your uniqueness but remember you were created unique for a reason by honoring and expressing your true self you not only free yourself but also attract people and experiences that resonate with your genuine nature being yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest achievement by committing to live according to our true self we elevate our vibration this alignment promotes a higher state of being filled with self-acceptance peace and fulfillment it's in this state that we attract positive energies and experiences that reflect our authentic self the act of laughing often underestimated is a powerful tool for elevating our vibrational energy in times of difficulty such as during addiction recovery or dealing with trauma or grief laughter can seem distant or even inappropriate. However, allowing oneself to experience joy and laughter is essential for our energetic well-being. It's a common misconception to think that seeking joy and laughter somehow diminishes the seriousness of our struggles or the depth of our pain. This couldn't be further from the truth embracing moments of laughter and joy does not deny our experiences. Instead, it provides a much-needed balance to the weight of our challenges. Laughter acts as a light in the darkness, lifting our spirit and in turn our vibrational frequency. When we are stuck in a cycle of stress and anxiety, our vibration tends to decrease. Laughter becomes a beacon of relief, a natural antidote that can shift our energy to a more positive frequency, engaging in activities that awaken joy and laughter is a simple yet effective way to elevate our mood and vibration. A practical step is to immerse ourselves in experiences we know bring us joy, whether watching a comedy that never fails to entertain us, spending time with friends who uplift our spirit, or participating in activities we find genuinely fun and satisfying. These moments of lightness and laughter are essential for balancing the more serious aspects of life. Laughter is often described as the best medicine, and there's truth in that saying it's a visible natural sign of a higher 
vibrational state when we laugh, we release endorphins, the body's well-being chemicals, which improve our mood and reduce stress. Additionally, laughter connects us with others, creating a shared experience of joy and positivity. Not taking ourselves too seriously and finding reasons to laugh are vital for our emotional and vibrational health. Laughter is a universal language that transcends our difficulties and elevates our spirits by making room for joy and laughter in our lives. We open ourselves to higher vibrations and frequencies paving the way for a more balanced and fulfilling existence.